your homework.
notation while but I haven't used uh, A. You can use one of the notation if you like, but you have to be clear about that. Uh, to have four sign symbol? Sorry? To have four sign symbol? And well, two and four. Yeah, they are all symbols, right? Those are logical constants and those and A here means the proposition of variables. Everything is a symbol here. Then. That should be one. Yeah, I, I'm just letting him to, to copy the words. And now yeah, we are kind of mistakes. So uh, yeah, number uh, here and this number of symbols in a formula. So this is not zero. Because if I give you this formula, how many symbols do you have here? Just one. Yeah. Everything in a formula except four parentheses. Do you have questions, man? Hello, hello. Is something I can help you? No. Okay. That's your chatting in is to know it. It has a realization. <laughs> and a reason. Okay, alright, alright. So do you do you all agree on that? So when A is just a variable, we count it as one. Those can count as one, so it's all right. What about these? Do you agree? Is that correct? That would what the you write down? One plus. Yeah, well, why do you write this? You already know it is one, right? So that should be one. And then that's all right. And the same thing applies here. Yes, but you have to do it with 
give the number? The number? Yeah. Symbol? The formula? The letter? Remains as it is. 
force remains as it is, and when I have a, a propositional variable different from Q, it's fixed. Right? And now negation. What do I do in that case? I proceed to change everything inside the formula. In this case, obviously, the definition of the function is not related to the negation operator. Right? And finally, case 3, when I have the binary connected.
This is a typical uh, test question. And now we want to find all the models, which implies to apply the analytic sample. So, what's the main connection? Q implies P. 
that's clear. That's the definition of my condition when you have both implication, right? And now I apply this equivalence, not be OQ. This is equivalent to this. We should know that by now. So here we have that. Okay, if you apply the distributive property, then you are right to this. You are right to P and Q or not P or not Q. You are right uh, and right. By that. But you have to apply the, the distributive equivalence here. I won't do it. You'll do it. Right? So, right? so that's why you have this here. And now what happens is that you negate this and apply the, the Morgan's law and then you get you get back. But that I'm leaving for you. Right. So now we have to, to compute some models here. So this is open, right? Yes. This is open. Yes. And that was open already. So models is the easy. For example, model one here.
formula is marked as uh, developed. I'm doing 10 first SSIs. First formula, right? So, the main collective is this one, right? And why do you have that formula? That, okay. It's just B, right? Okay. On that side. Where? 
going to generalize the um, All the theory I've uh, developed for set, sets of uh, formulae. So now I have phi, which is a set of, of formulae.
form this initial tree. It is clear that since I, I need a common valuation, and n will solve it. Because n is equivalent to intersection. So here what I'm doing is intersecting the models of both formula. Right? So that's what I do. I I put F1, F2, I compute the tableau, and then I'll get open and closed branches, and I infer the model from, from there. Infer, inferi, right? Okay. Uh, on Friday, I'll, I'll do a lot of this. A lot of this. So, learn your uh, equivalences. I'll start kicking people out when I get uh, stupid questions about uh, logical equivalences. You have memory for that and much more else.